your fingers close to the keys as close as you can, very relaxed. Um, and then practice starting on different notes for 15 minutes. Just start on the third, go up, start on the third, go down, start on the fifth, go up, start on the fifth, go down, start on the sixth, you know, go up, go down. Um, get used to all those starting notes and starting on the downbeats, okay? It's very important, it's the same with the dominant BL scale. When you're first learning this, it's important to stick to the rules of starting on the downbeat and being very mechanical about it. Because I want you to get the sound in your ear, get the feel of the scale and how it sounds good on the downbeats. And then later you can break those rules when you have the sound. But um, I see so many students that try to break the rules too quickly. Okay, they, they, I tell them to do this and learn the scale and improvise with it, um, but always start in the downbeats and um, they'll go back away, practice for a week, come back, and I was, I'm like, okay, play for me, demonstrate, and they're they're trying to get fancy with it, they're they're changing the rhythm and like, um, and me, you know, messing with it and starting on the offbeats and doing different things, and but the the problem is they don't have it in their ear yet. They think they're playing the scale because they're playing the notes, um, but they're not playing it the right way. If you play it backwards, start on the offbeat, if you switch the scale around, it, do, it, it doesn't sound good. It, it doesn't have the same flow. It's, it's not just about playing the notes. It's about how you play the notes and where you put them on the beat. And, and trust me, when, when you get it down, then after you've really mastered it, then you can start messing with it. That's that's the next step. But get it down first and in your ear. So what I what also would recommend doing, as long as if you're at this point, lesson 19, is why not mix this up with the dominance? So what I would suggest doing is playing the dominant chord and then resolving down a fifth to the major. And this is getting you ready for two five ones, because that's what happens in two five ones. So now 